What's going on guys today? I'm gonna to show you how to make What's going on guys today? What's going on guys? What's going on? What's up? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make how to put your artist on a beat, how to put a song, how to put a cappella on a beat, your own beat. Uh just take that out and put it on your own beat to see how your beat would sound with like to see if your beats match like how artist rap see if it could work so uh that's what i'm going to show you today this beat right here where i put juice world on it so let's get straight into it so the most important thing is is that the beat is in the same key as the beat you're making so i took the song uh, conversations by juice world which is in b major uh which is the equivalent to g sharp minor so they're both the same b major and g sharp minor it's like the same thing and what i did was then I took this loop I had and what I did is I just um, pitched it up to G sharp minor. So yeah, after you have them in the same key, I'm just gonna quickly show you the beat. Go over it quick, cause it's not really the video. So what I did was, uh, as they say, keep the beat pretty simple for artists. I have a, quite a lot of 808s for this beat. So maybe I shouldn't have done that as many. What I did pretty much is just simple 808. See it simple spins 808, sounding like this. After that, I added a clap and some hi-hats. After I had that, I went in and added that kick for the bounce. Once I had that, I went in and added the snare to layer that with the clap. Then after that, I added uh, another snare, but just like as a counter snare. Then uh, what I added was this open hat. Then a little perk with a lot of reverb on it. Also, the last thing I added was another hi-hat pattern that just sounds like this. And that was pretty much it. That's all I really added to that. So yeah, that's the whole beat there. Just quickly showed you that to you. Why I originally used uh, Juice World was um, I used him kind of like as a sample. But I showed you how to do that before. How to like sample vocals from another song into a beat you're making. That's another video. You can go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. So if you want, you can check that out. If you just want the full vocal on your beat, like I said, match the key. And after that, what you're going to want to do when you've made sure that they're both singing in the same key. If, it, if they're not singing in the same key, it won't sound right and you'll notice unless you're like like uh what's it called like tone deaf or something like that if you want to make sure that then it's the same bpm so as you can see it's 157 so uh, how i do it is when you pull it in you'll see it like this right um you just pull it in you know there'll be no stretch on it at all it will just look normal um what i do is i'll first put it onto the original bpm so as you can see it's 160 the original so what I'll do is I'll quickly put it up to 160 BPM. It just makes it easier. You can do it different, but I don't know. For me, it just it just works easier. I'm just showing you my way of how to do it. So what I'll do when I put it in 160 is I'll make it align quickly with the beat. So if it's 160, it should match the beat straight away. So I'll, for example, put on the claps and then um, put it in the right position so it's sounding right. So something like here, it should be right. Devil in my phone, you wanna talk? But I'm not really up for conversations. I get how my cake and eat it too. I just gotta make a reservation. As you can hear, that sounds right. So what I'll do now is I'll stretch it to the right tempo. So what I'll do is I'll just go like this, make sure this is right here. What I'll do then is just uh, double click on the sample after you put it in the right position. Put the time all the way up like that. And as you can see, it won't go all the way out where you want it to. So what I'll do is I'll press on here on the stretch like that. And I'll just pull it out to where I want it to be. So now as you can see, it's right there, right position, and it's stretched. So now we can change the BPM back down again. So now if I go down to 157, it will say restretch all channels now, and you'll click yes. And that way, it will keep the tempo like a line. So now it will always, whatever tempo you change it to, it will say the same. The devil in my phone, he wanna talk. 
But I'm not really up for conversations. It's cool, it's still on beat, you know? Sometimes it might mess with the pitch, so you just press here and press reset the pitch. What I forgot to mention is uh, how to make it a cappella. So if you want to make it a cappella, there's different ways you can do it. So either you can go on YouTube and just search up. If it's a pretty famous song, you can just search up, uh, you know, Juice World Conversations a cappella or something like that, and you'll find it. You can also use software as like RX Isotope. Seven or something like that. I forgot the exact name. Those are also pretty helpful to get acapellas out of a song. And yeah, that's pretty much that. That's how that's how I do it. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, check out my main channel. This beat is on the main channel as well. And uh Yeah, peace. The devil in my phone, he wanna talk.